Welcome to another episode. Now what you see before you is a little rotary grinder and cordless. Now unfortunately as you can see when I switch it on there's no lighting and turn it right up nothing at all and that's your little battery there got the charger charger's working fine tested it on the multimeter it's working good just not taking a charge so it looks like the battery's gone now as you can see it says 2011 that's nine years ago and the battery itself it's also 2011 so I reckon it's probably had it let's go see about rebuilding the battery pack now it's quite easy to open just four screws holding it together so I opened it took the batteries out now they were all spot welded together so I've separated them and I found two batteries that weren't so good so we'll just switch that on and I'll just show you there now they should be reading around 1.2 to 1.5 volts and well fully charged they would be 1.5 again I'll just give you a close up on that they're a 1.2 1000 milliamp battery and if you look at these two here this is a pretty bad one wasn't taking a charge at all this one here starting to fail so in total there's eight batteries which makes up 9.6 volts and that's what this little thing will push out on the little rotary when you're charging them it will charge up to about each of these will charge to about 1.5 which will bring it up to 12 volts. The little motor in the rotary tool can handle more than that. It'll just spin so much quicker. Now, finding these, these are not AAs and they're not AAAs, they're in between. Now there's probably a designation for them. It might even be, it says AA on them. It says four fifth AA which means they're not quite and finding something to go in here is a bit of fun now I was thinking of using some lithium ion and what I did is I bought online these here now as many people know about these they're a bit of a joke it says 9800 milliamps but I did a test on them and that's the actual I'm getting there is 1091 milliamps and that's actually one of the good ones a lot of them are not even reaching a thousand milliamps unfortunately you can get two in but that would only bring you up to 8.4 volts max and they'll run down to six volts that's even if they last that long now what I want to do is I wanted to get it in uh, more than that but so I tried different configurations um, I had some vape batteries here which I managed to get the shape correctly but I can only again get it up to about 8.4 volts so what I've decided to do is I have some other vape batteries and I'm going to fit three of them in. I'm going to work three of them in and we'll see what way that goes. Now also the height of the whole thing is roughly 90 millimeters. So if I put them in like that, they're going to go flapping around the place. So I'll have to put a little spacer in 
and because the little connectors here I'm gonna to have to f figure out a way to sort that out so I have to as I said these these little connectors one goes down here and the other one goes over the other side so we'll sort that out now when this is fully charged these will ch charge up to 12.6 volts and that should handle that should be quite capable of running the Dremel and because of the vape batteries they push out a higher ampage and should last longer also they're rechargeable I've soldered the three batteries together in series which will bring it up to when fully charged it will bring it up to 12.6 volts so let's just test let's just test them now and see what we got 12.56 volts now that's quite capable of being handled by the little rotary tool now also what I did was I soldered the two little contacts that go on each side here and all we need then is to figure out a spacer and in order to get it into fit comfortably we'll need to make sure that it's uh, between 90 and 95 millimeters now I did do a discharge and recharged and I'm, it's got an output of roughly 1200 milliamps which is a small improvement on the original batteries but it should be give it should give a better kick because the vape batteries are they have a bigger output on the ampage now also they are all the same battery don't mix batteries it can cause problems so after much head scratching I come up with a little timber block here and that will be used as a spacer and insulator now you may notice I have a little notch taking out taken out here and that's for these here to fit in so your little tabs our contacts will go in there and we'll put another one in there and when they're in place they'll be nice and f f countersunk and then what we do then is we'll just find out which is a plus that's the plus and they'll just sit down and in and then you can see the little contacts are in the right place on both sides now adding that on to the onto the battery again working off a 20 a zero it still comes up short it's coming up at eight so we still need another one and a half centimeters or 15 mil thereabouts so again scratching heads and we'll put a bit of cork now cork is a good insulator also so what we need is we need to cut this down to size and again it just so happens it fits just nicely in there so we'll cut that down to size and then we'll have our space again with this we'll just fit them without any connections and once we have the shape we want then we'll tape them up now eventually got the cap I wanted and we'll stick that in works out just the cap now I need and what I've done as well is I've just cut a little bit of sponge to put into here as sort of a bit of a cushion well, that's, I've actually cut two so one of them is bound to fit so we have it there so that'll just be a little bit of a cushion for this other side of the battery the cork itself 
will be a bit of a cushion for one end. Now I forgot to mention, um, just make sure you finish the bottle before you start cutting up your cork. Next stage is I put some captain tape all around to seal it. It's not completely sealed but it's holding it in place and it seems to do the job. I'll solder together and again before we go any further let's test it and we have it working. Now I'm going to try and do the rest of this in one take. I was hoping it wasn't going to happen, so I'm going to have to go take it apart again, and I'll come back to you in a moment. Okay, we're back again. Now, in my haste to put it together, I pinched one of the wires, so I've had to open it up and resolder. So let's go test it again. So again, we have your. Positive and negative. So if you're not color blind, it should work nicely. So there we go. 12.55. And the next stage is the test. Make sure it's off. And now. Yeah. So there we have, we have your lights. Now there is no zero function on this. It's only one, it starts off at one. Are we spinning there? Let's just see what will happen next. It's back down to one. All the three batteries are lit. So if I switch it off, you can see now nothing. See, it might be at one. So. for watching I hope you enjoyed this I hope I wasn't too drawn out and dragged it out too much but uh, if you liked it give us a thumbs up and uh, drop a comment if you wish oh yeah don't forget to subscribe